this is, I think, probably one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. For real. Okay, we're here at the Museum of Graffiti. But before we get into the art museum, say what up to Mr. Ket, which I will see here in a little while. I think he has a pretty cool story for everybody to hear. But here he is, let's get a good shot. There it is, whoa. Walking into the Museum of Art here in the Wynwood area in Miami. Y'all have to come check it out, masks on. Ooh. In the early 2000s, a group of artists uh, that went by the name of Primary Flight started inviting artists to paint in this neighborhood. Guys like Typo and Books started inviting people. And so this neighborhood really became live with artists traveling from all over the world to paint. I started coming to this neighborhood when those guys' primary flight started doing their events. I think I, I painted here the first time in 2008. Uh, and then I kept coming back every year in December during Basel because there was a lot of events, um, uh, art festivals, music festivals and okay. things happening. And everybody started hearing about it and it became this spot for artists. You know, I met a, uh, a woman named Allison Frieden, who's a local woman, a lo local lawyer who's passionate about the arts. We got together and we came up with the idea of creating a museum of graffiti. And look, don't let this guy be too humble. He's an OG of the game. So if you guys go look him up, go find his art, go follow his, go follow his page at... Graffiti Art Collector. And graffiti Art Collector and, and Museum of Graffiti. Go check him out. What a day. He took a quick a quick uh, 15 minute break. That's it, that's it. Uh, more back, like a 30 minute break, we're but back, up, we're back, back at it, back on the grind. I'm about to start whipping this hat up and y'all will see it soon. But next time you're in Wynwood, come check out Museum Boom. of Graffiti and we'll get it from there. but I'm finally done. Uh, I'm, I'm just so blessed to get to have met Mr. Ket, K-E-T. Um, just an OG in the graffiti game. If you guys are from New York, from Brooklyn, you guys may have ridden on one of his trains that he hit, uh, hit up, that he tagged up. But I've been working really hard on this hat um, because as a young artist getting to just sit down with one of the OGs in the game has been pretty cool just to hear his story and just how things have evolved and changed and that's just kind of what art is you know so to be able to create this hat for Mr. Cat this is awesome so here we go I had to give you guys a sneak peek before he sees it because I don't want to do that we got some spray paint right there classic all right, we are here outside of the shop right here. You got Mr. Ket, got the Museum of Graffiti. We are here, but we're not gonna deliver it in front of my van because we gotta deliver it in front of his own art. We got Ket's very own mural right here. Ket, which y'all saw earlier, but here we go. There you go, so this is your card. This comes from one of my journals. So you got the wax seal. 
Incredible. So you know it's the real deal. So keep that. Yes. So I put that in there. Um, I put these spray paint colors in there just because it was kind of just a, a good little flash. I love it. Put a little splash up here like you've been spray painting. It just kind of fell on top of you. But then I put this specifically. So the TM is what has made you. Yes. But what has surrounded you growing up, your, what has fully created the passion that you have is the thing that you've grown up with, grown up around. So that is what has surrounded your heart. And then underneath, I said, dude, just keep being a vessel, keep being a vessel of light in this gray world. That's you know, as you were saying, when you were growing up, it was a gray world, yes. you know? So keep, these this colors is, are awesome, man. And so, you know incredible. what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Oh. This is, I think, probably one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. For real. Yeah.